Hello, my name is Clive Scott and this is uh, part 14 of a course on Java and it's about the return statement. This is what a return statement looks like and um, any method which returns a non-void type uh, has to have a return statement in every possible path uh, which um, returns an expression which can be assigned to that type. And um, by every possible path of execution, it includes ones which can't actually execute. If you had, for example, um, an if statement which said if true, do something else, uh, do something else, that else part would never be executed, but it counts as a possible path. Now, um, if the method, on the other hand, um, returns void, you don't have to put a return statement in. But if you do put one in, you mustn't have any expression. So the expression part must be off in that case, mustn't have it. Um, without a return statement, um, the method just returns to the caller at the end of the method. Okay, so how about something like this? Um, something you can't do. Um, here's a, a, a method here which uh, returns void and um, void test here also returns void. What you can't do is try and return void like that. If you try that you'll get a compile error. Um, so you can't get around things like that. Um, it must just return and not try and return void. You see what I mean? Um, constructors by the way can also have return statements but um, again they mustn't have a return expression. Um, Here's something, um, uh, test here returns 42, right, that's an integer, and um, if, here if we look, um, we do a call to test and just ignore the result, so that's possible as well. Um, a return value can be ignored if you want. Uh, I don't personally like doing that, but it is permitted. Um, yeah, here we're just saving the result. That's what I prefer. I don't like ignoring return results, generally. That's just me personally. Um, 